welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Judge, 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 judge. This Mommy's Right by Terrible Productions. Really good. Yeah, I like it a God, lot. That was good. So official. This is Newport by The Vinylist. Okay. Uh, look, there's a lot of crazy date changes coming up. I don't know if some of you know this or not. There's already been some changes to the oddball schedule. So instead of listing them all, I'll just tell you, if you want to come see me, do stand up in your town. Go to TomSegura.com. There are some for sure. My own shows are, are definitely going down. Louisville, San Francisco, Man Francisco, Judor Titties. Um, what's the other one that I'm doing? Phil Her of Delphia, uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. They're all at TomSegura.com. West Palm Beach, I'm doing the improv in December. Um, and yes, we added West Ball Meats. West Ball Meats are in, uh, sweaty <laughs> like ball meats one. are in. Uh, well, I like that one. December. Wet, wet ball meats. Wet ball meats. So That's make sure you that in Philadelphia, Philadelphia we added a third show. Philadelphia at the Trocadero. Oh, well, we've so. got a footrest. It's a dog. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Of course that registered. Uh, <laughs> What about you, Jeans? I know your tickets I'm are everywhere. at thousandranch.com. Yeah, I go to Meat Rattle, Portland. I'm going to Dallas. I'm going to Houston, Pustin. I'm going to Indy Mom Nap Indy Nat Napolis. I'm going to uh, Cincinnati, where the notorious Cincinnati fart happens. Oh my God! Did it ever? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. At thousandranch.com. Check it out. Oh, check out That's Deep Bro, too, fuckers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good uh, fucking show. It's really good. It's really picking up heat. Everyone's talking about it on the street. A couple big things to announce. <laughs> Your mom's house podcast.com not only now has, uh, of course, all the episodes, links to the YouTube videos of it. Um, we are now on Google Play. Okay, a lot of Google people Play. have been asking about it. Finally came through. Google Play another format that you can listen to the show on a lot of people are into it android mm. users and whatnot so if you're finding a way yeah, to listen now and you want google play we're there uh your mom's house podcast.com also has clips a lot of people always ask us where'd you find the clip of that go to the clips page you can see that you can see the free ringtones if you want to download free ringtones we have a bunch up we're going to add more so it's free it's on us ringtones from the show um, we have the store. Don't forget oh, to right, check right. out the store. The Double Pipe Classic, the bike shirt, Bird is Fat, uh, the Cincinnati Fart poster. They're all there in the store. And of course, if you're on the if you're on your mom's house podcast.com, please consider shopping through our Amazon banner. You do all the shopping you would normally do on Amazon, but you go through our portal and it helps out the show. Um, also, you're forgetting uh, the coolest thing ever. What's that? Patreon, put that down. Of course. Patreon, put that down. Uh, guys, go ahead and check that out. It's a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff, special... Bonus episodes. Bonus episodes just for the hard fucking core Yes. YMH fan. There's a lot of hard fucking core shit. Hard fucking all core. All over. Uh, and we actually put up... The latest was a... Uh, what's it called? The live episode the we live did episode at Flippers. In uh, Flippers was there. Hard fucking core. That's right. Yeah. That's yeah. what Patreon's for. 
Yeah. The hard fucking core. Yep. No yep. fucking dilettante listener on that. Mm-mm. Real fucking hardcore. We had, Hard fucking core. We had, um, yeah. we had an incident at the live show too, which was kind of interesting. I won't spill the the beans, so to speak. It's but, already up. Oh, is yeah. it already up? I mean, the, normal. Yeah. No, I'm saying the the episode that bonus episode's up. Yeah, yeah, there's a guy in the audience who was crazy, and we ended up talking to him after, and he has he he, he knowledgeed us. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that guy? Yeah, he wasn't crazy though, right? No, it was yeah. it was just funny because he held on to it for so yes. long. It's really then... funny, actually. I think um, if it's not up yet, it will be up. We're gonna upload that segment. Yeah. Because it was so funny. So silly. Yeah, it was so funny. Anyway. Um. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. So check out Patreon.com. Put, Put that shit down. down. Patreon.com slash mom. Put the shit down. Patreon. Um, <laughs> are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Remember that was from some commercial. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Ready? There's our son crying. There's a son. It's nap time, guys. Yeah, I gotta <laughs> put him back in his cage. Never All right. Thought I would ever feel this good. All that's where right. that's from. Oh, and Blue Band got a microphone upgrade, right? Blue Band. Okay. Yep, sure did. You can uh, hear me better now. Burger. Right. Burger. <laughs> Now listen, bitch, are you, are you touching oh, that? Oh, that's the wrong right one. Oh, Shit. Oh, no. God damn it. It's all over the map today. Here we go. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing for sure, baby. I wish you were here right now so you could see me play with my big fat pussy lips. <laughs> I'm going to get it. I'm going to, this movie here, this movie's getting me all wet. This pussy, <laughs> this pussy juice is dripping down my fucking legs. Shit, shit, it's big time. Who is Randy? You don't bring anyone <laughs> loving to this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. Oh, that's so lame. Christina Pichinsky. Welcome to your mom's house. Hot sauce. Remember when I was at the uh, at that bar? I was told you I was going to the bar. I met those guys in the <laughs> in the woods. Why don't you tell them? Ah, no, they don't want to hear about it. No, tell so, them. And I came all over that guy. All right, let's do the show. Are you ready to do the show? <laughs> we went on a weekend getaway with baby jeans. Oof. I yeah, N- not, nothing funner. More fun than traveling with an eight-month-old. Jeez. Uh, Staycation kind Jesus of Jesus Christ. Yeah, but, in the LA area. Yeah, we, we drove there. But um, it's you would you would get me a glass of Pinot Grigio every night. Mm-hmm. And every and night... You always do this. Whenever I go like, <laughs> I'm going to go get something, you go, wouldn't it be crazy if you said you were going to the bar, but you were really just going to meet someone? I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, like a guy in the bushes? And you're like, I guess. <laughs> Well, yeah, because what if that that's really what's going on? What if that's a crazy scenario? <laughs> yeah, I know. I am crazy, I think. By the way, crazy you, thoughts. you're also a real serial killer because <laughs> she laughed maniacally at the thought <laughs> of killing a squirrel. That's, that's not why. <laughs> yeah, she thought it was so funny. I was like, I only has fun. She was like, <laughs> you snap its neck. <laughs> No, because you were like, because there was a, it wasn't a squirrel, it was a rabbit. The rabbit, that's we right. We were sitting outside and we saw an adorable little rabbit. Just, and it just stayed there. Just, and it stayed there. and it was eating. And you were like, how would I kill that? And I go, you probably should snap its neck. Trap it and then snap its neck. Yeah, and I was like, no, trap a rabbit just to sure. snap its neck. No, because at first I go, <laughs> I, I, I go, I wish I had a 22. So I could, you know. That's too be- too much fire. No, for a rabbit, that's perfect. Sure, you use a fucking BB gun to kill a rabbit. Well, I mean, the twenty two is not much more than that. That's oh, my okay, point. So okay. I go to twenty two, and I was like, oh, I wish I had a rock right now. Then I started just <laughs> laugh, just imagining my mother being there because I was how upset she would be. I was like, give a rock <laughs> to kill this beautiful, yeah, to kill rabbit. beautiful rabbit. Um, <laughs> and also to ask her, do you have a rock? Like, like she has one on it. Like, here's a rock. Well, we were thinking of the dumbest ways to kill that rabbit. Yeah. Like, first of all, why would you kill the rabbit meat? There's not a lot of meat. It's like eating a pigeon. But what made you there's laugh no the reason. most was the idea of throwing a rock to <laughs> stun the rabbit and then running over there and snapping it. <laughs> she was like, that's so bad. That's so funny to me. <laughs> I'm crazy. I'm a maniac. <laughs> 
I think that's so like why would you even kill a rabbit? Yeah, but that's why so I laugh sweet. at that stuff. You They're know? so cute. Like that guy talking about <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, <throw> right. <laughs> that's Henry portrait of a serial killer. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. The that's snapping. that scene. But that wasn't a that was a person's neck. It's a movie. It's yeah, not but, real. Yeah, you know, to me it's the real. guy he's with the hooker and he goes yeah. like, and the other guy goes. <laughs> at Henry because he just snapped his <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> but I think it's so crazy to want to snap a rabbit's neck like, let's pull why up that you funny even... funny no <laughs> all for fuck's sake no yeah so what about your grandma here oh yeah we'll get to her in a Wait. second <laughs> but it is fucked up to even think about killing a rabbit there's no reason the meat's not that good you gotta be real desperate yeah to kill a rabbit jeez and then, and then we ordered room service for breakfast, and then we didn't. We forgot to have them clear it, and we ate outside. <laughs> so there was all our food outside, <laughs> and then we were sitting out there, and we saw raccoons coming. We're like, "Oh, these motherfuckers are gonna eat all our food." And then we came back. <laughs> and it was gone. <laughs> it was like was shitty hard potatoes and stuff. Where's the funny scene? What's what? what should I was I look throwing about? potatoes at the rabbit too. It, it ate it. And liked yeah. it. Is this the scene here? Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> We don't. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, I just got it. It's the funniest. It's not funny. (laughs) It's the funniest fucking thing ever. (laughs) So Henry's in here with his buddy, and they each have a hooker. (laughs) Tell me that his friend's reaction isn't funny. Okay, hold on. Tiger, it's because they're people, babe. It's different. Wait. 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 He's like, what's going on? Susie! <laughs> he, he was like, oh, I thought we were going to keep her quiet. <laughs> he just goes, whack! And snaps her neck. You yeah. think it's funny? What rabbit person? It's different. A Why? little uh, killing a, a little cute rabbit to me is just it's hilarious because <laughs> you outweigh it and you're so much bigger than a yeah. rabbit. There's no reason to like snap his neck. I'd rather snap twenty hookers' neck than, than a rabbit. I would too. <laughs> They're so cute. Rabbits are super cute. Hookers grow on trees. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Are you with me? Are you or with are me? Are you with me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyways. So, my grandma, we opened with a clip of her uh, doing her thing and stuff like that. And um, here she is. She's great. She is great. Um, so, this is like, because this is always the thing you didn't know about. Do you remember when you first found out as a kid? And not even as a kid, I think it's a little bit older. You hear about sex lines. Yeah. And then I never actually called one, I just heard recordings of them, you yeah. know? Well, because they're super expensive. Yeah, it's like. I once had a roommate in college. We lived with one guy and it was like four of us girls and we all went for Christmas vacation and he stayed behind. We came home. He spent $600 on phone sex. On phone sex. And he paid it. But we were like, really, dude? Really? It's a lot. It's a lot. But back in the late 90s, that's how you you jacked it was that or print. And then you find out that there's call centers and that nobody you speak to ever looks like what you think they look like. Yeah. That was the big rub about these. So they have uh, yeah. this. She looks like Mrs. Kunders, my first grade teacher. That is Mrs. Kunders. <laughs> she doesn't look so good. Why don't you describe her? Doesn't look good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, number one, there's definitely teeth missing. I don't yeah. think she has any. Yeah. She's got the big Ted Bundy glasses from the Ted 80s. Ted Bundy glasses? Didn't he have big glasses? Uh-uh. Um, <laughs> no, Stevie, maybe Stevie. Stevie definitely had glasses. Stevie yeah. had those glasses, yeah. and then like a real feminine kind of cool haircut. Soccer player, <laughs> yeah. Tennis player haircut. The kind of the kind of cut that says it's shut down. I would say it's really shut down. Don't touch my vagina. It's soccer, tennis player, Russia, circa eighty seven, <laughs> eighty eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's intense. Hello, sweetie pie. Hey, baby. You're- Fuck you. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> so this is kind of stepping into oh, her world. No. Looks like she does it from her home. Yeah. And that she checks in with the call. Like, so they patch her in and then right. calls are routed to her, you know? What a cool job. I think you make a fortune doing this stuff. Hi, it's me. I'm getting ready to log in. Okay, thanks. Well, now this is webcam girl. Where are you calling like... from, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> now listen, bitch. Are you, are you touching that dick right now? I mean, look yeah. at this right here. 
Imagine this is who you're jacking off to. Yeah. Oh, this is what my grandma used to urinate in and shit. <laughs> <laughs> this bedpan. I don't even. That's a bedpan. That you know what? That was so traumatizing when you told me that <laughs> that I've actually blocked it out. Yeah. Why well, wouldn't she walk over to the toilet? Because this is old country. This is this is how they did it back in the old country. Yeah, but during the day, she saw how awesome the toilet was, right? right? But at night, the thinking <laughs> is, I'm so tired, I don't want to lose my sleepiness by getting up and going to the, to the toilet. Oh, I just put the pan next to me, and I piss in the, the pot. Wait, what's? tell me like the real mechanics of it, though. Is it on the floor? She kept it under the bed. So she would like urinate in it, but I mean, in the middle of the night, say, and then so keep it under she, the bed. So let's say she gets, she'd stand up. Obviously, yeah. And then just squat down. I'm guessing. Ugh. I never, <laughs> I never slept next to her, so I don't know. But she liked the bedpan, and then she would dump it. My dad would just beg her to stop doing it, and she she wouldn't. She was so old school. God. But that 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 does look like a bedpan. Yeah. Yeah. She just, you know, what she looks like to me. It just looks like. Uh, I mean, and I apologize for whatever this offense. She looks like a white trash piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> she, yep. looks, she has that a good, that real scumbag, real scumbag. smoker yep. smoker's look to her. Like really, you know, really just really looks like shit. There's That's no interesting. Real... Like you know how Chloe Savigny, Savigny can play white trash yeah. perfectly? She does so well in Bloodline. Right. Yeah. Like she's such trailer trash. And yeah. in um, She kind of looks like... Bloodline, uh, Chloe's mother right. in the series. That's what, like she's yes. just the, ex- the exemplary piece of shit, yeah. white trash. Yeah, yeah. this yeah. lady has got, if she were an actor, she would get an award. That's right. She's really looking like it right For now. For white trash. <laughs> Don't oh. touch that fucking cock and tell her it's not a fucking cock anymore. Now it's a Oof. clit, see? She's not and your goddamn motherfucking asshole is your pussy. Oh, boy. Yeah. And I'm going to take this goddamn motherfucking dick and I'm going to ram it straight up your goddamn motherfucking pussy like there's no fucking tomorrow. Oh my god! Wow, I bet she got a lot of guys off back in her yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's some dude who doesn't care. And you know what I like about this though? She is a vet. You can tell she yep. knows. Like, if you're comfortable enough to be describing she's things, drinking coffee. drinking coffee, she's yeah. laying back. She's reclining in her house. She's not nervous. <laughs> she's got the bedpan next to her. She knows how to do this. No, it's old school. Yeah. She's a 15 year like vet. That goddamn motherfucking shit. She's doing a jigsaw puzzle right now. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing for goddamn motherfucking shirt, bitch. If you don't like that goddamn motherfucking shit, bitch, you don't like a fucking thing. Because I will have you suck this dick. I love her. <laughs> She's pretty great. What's her name? Do we have a name? Or no. She's just a grandma. Eight inches long? Oh, my God. Oh, I'm She's knitting. To touch something like that. Oh, no, I don't think I should touch it. Oh, so I don't know. She plays all the different roles. I know. She's a sweet granny. I take a bath and a shower, and that's about it. I don't know. I never have even had my finger in it before. Not a Campex, not nothing. No. Am I... A- you don't mean my back door, do you? See, so she can play submissive. <laughs> yeah. Or she can be a dom. I this like is that. a real talent. Right yeah. Here. I mean, I could never do this. It probably depends on the call, right? Right away, she knows if it's from this she number or that line. Out. Oh, right. Yeah. Like the dom, the, the a probably submissive, a, the granny. Because she did that call, like I'm logging in. They're probably like, this is a dom right. number. Right. When she's like, your asshole's your pussy, and like, I'm gonna fuck you in it. Wow, you know? it's so fascinating. Now, do you think that they gave her scripts and then she memorized Probably them? Probably back in the day, somebody was like, "How this is how you do it." When yeah. she started back yeah. in the 20s, but really? then now <laughs> she just knows. Back on the old phonograph, or yeah, would it do you the, the grand bell? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Are you coming yet? Hold on. Are you coming? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah. I tell you one thing for sure, baby. I wish you were here right now so you could see me play with my big fat pussy lips. <laughs> this got me I'm pretty worked it. up, I'll be honest. Right. Yeah. This yeah. movie's getting me all wet. Those I'm glasses are all I don't think she has eyebrows legs. either. It's troubling. No, yeah. she has no eyebrows. Mm. Interesting. No, they're there. Is yeah, that like, a choice? Like cover, yeah. Covered by the glasses. The, glass the glasses are yeah. large. Yeah. yeah. It's really hot. <laughs> yeah. Crazy neck, too. It's interesting. <laughs> it's a lot. But if you were desperate, this would be. 100% for if I you. need to pay bills and they're like, just talk to people and talk shit. Can, I, can I tell you what? <laughs> I, would do I think this is way more dignified than that thing we saw that was just an ass with two holes in it. Remember that plastic oh, yeah, thing yeah, the guy that showed re- us? Yeah, they reviewed it. Remember he reviewed it? He's yeah. Like, you fuck it in here, you yeah. fuck it in here, and it's all together. And you gotta clean out the chambers, and you're like, oh. like so that what, to me wait, is Wait, what do you less... mean more dignified? Dignified on whose end? The man. Oh. I mean, I'd rather you call, call first, if it was you, let's say, yeah. I'd be like, please call granny versus like 
us having to conceal Well, this. you can't look at her and still call. I mean, there's no. a percentage, but you mean just call phone sex people. Right. That's versus just more dignified. Why, why versus fucking that thing? Well, fucking that thing. Okay, so here's the thing. Yeah. It, all it is, that thing we're discussing, it's like a woman's ass yeah. and her thigh. So it's like a chopped up woman, which you like already. <laughs> I know this is fun. Yeah. And then it's an asshole and a vagina. Yeah. And there's cleanup. Yeah. So where are you going to clean that? You're going to put that in the dishwasher with all the other crap? Mm, I guess you could leave it in the shower. In the shower. So when I'm showering, yeah, I'm going to fucking <laughs> step on your girlfriend? Well, I mean, I could, <laughs> I could mount her to the wall or something. That's disgusting. It's so undignified. Wait, so people understand it's a, it's a toy. It's a sex toy. It's like a fleshlight, but it's actually sculpted to look like um, a woman's ass, ass and, and then half a thigh. Right. So and it's creepy. And it's called, I think it's called like Fuck My Ass. And right. they made fuck a, Me Silly or something. Yeah, and then yeah. they made a black one. So there's the Fuck My Big Black Ass. <laughs> and the guy was like, and the difference between the Fuck My Ass and the Fuck My Big Black Ass is just color tone. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm all for like the fleshlight. I think that's more dignified. Than the asshole than, pussy Well, thing. just having the thing cut up. It looks weird. It you looks you got to like keep it under the bed cut. like your mom's bedpan. Your and grandma. that's another thing. Where do you keep it? We've got a kid. How are you going to conceal that thing? You know? We walk in, he's just like fingering both Yeah, <laughs> That's a neat toy. I'm like, buddy, most people don't, don't do that until they're much older. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then him and I do it together. Okay, like we're both, it's not. <laughs> we're tag teaming it. Like, which hole you want, pal? I think I think for me, just the cleanup sounds disgusting. Yeah. One of those things. Yeah. How the fuck do you clean out Something you jizz in like that. Uh, he said you just, they're connected, so you flush the water holes. into one. Yeah, yeah but no to... guy's going to do that. No, I, I imagine guys a lot of loads anything. stay in there. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. It's just a coagulated mess. Ugh, that is pretty raw. Yeah, dude. Imagine yeah. sharing it with a nut, like sharing it no. with friends. <laughs> and you're all just like, bah, bah. Which is happening right now. Yeah. Ugh, you're the man now. Come, dog. <laughs> yeah, dude. There's dudes sharing one of those things right now. Ugh. There probably are. Yeah, dude. Yeah. What if there are dudes who share a flashlight right now? There oh. are. One hundred percent. So gnarly. It's gnarly when you see it in the movies. Ugh, so Oof. What do you mean in the movies? There's movies where guys share flashlights. Not flashlight. Well, probably they're probably yes. There probably <laughs> are movies that share that, but. <laughs> There's, you know, movies where they share women. And oh, right. They'll, they'll dump inside together. Seems a little more natural to me. Though. It's more natural, but it's kind of <laughs> grody, right? It's not cool. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> like no. as the woman, I don't know. Like a guy finishes, oh, and then another guy goes oh, right in there, man. and he's like, bah. And then another aye, guy, aye, and then aye, another aye, guy. Aye, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a lot. lot of cum. That is a lot <laughs> of cum, and that's a real. That's pretty gnarly. Like you're. Yeah, it's su- it's super gross. You're in a special class after that. It's super gross. You're in a very. Uh, does that excite you at all? Though that idea. <laughs> Having uh, just miscellaneous loads in me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course, yeah. of course. Like the more, the merrier, right? I that's picture a lot same. of guys kind of waiting behind us a lot of times. You know. Excuse me. Like, when we're making love, I picture like 20 guys waiting their turn. <laughs> That's so, you know, I don't know. That's not a thing. I can't wrap my brain around. It's a thing for me. I can't wrap my brain around. Yeah. I really, because I never even had like one night stands because of that. Because I don't mm. I don't like the idea of just some, some stranger ejaculating. I picture like a prison group though, not like. Oh, like, a, like duct tape? <laughs> Like yeah, he's duct just tape. waiting for me. Yeah, duct tape's back there. And, yeah, he's talking a lot of shit. Stevie and yeah, yeah. Duct tape. Yeah. There he is. His turn. It's duct tape's turn. Yeah. Who's up next? <laughs> <laughs> they call me duct tape. All right, man. Go ahead. Uh, I'll duct tape your ass today. <laughs> oh no, boy. Yep. I tell you one thing for sure, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Look, I've been caught playing with my pussy lots of times. Time. She's peeing. You like to fuck Asian pussy too in the at home? Like my name is Manisha Manella, baby, and I like, to, I like for you to play with my pussy really hard. Oh, my God. I didn't know that clip was coming. Asshole. How do you say Asshole. <laughs> yeah. More pressure. Oof. That was pretty Ooh, gnarly, that's man. That's a good one. Good yeah. for her. Hey, man, she's making a living, though, you know? She is. She's she making is. people happy, and it's not televised, which is great. 
Yeah. Right? She doesn't have to do porn. So her, her life is intact. It's nice that they showed us her taking a leak <laughs> as, she, as she did a mocking Asian voice. Hurrah. Right. My name is Shara. <laughs> Vicky, I'm Yeah. Thank you. You want you for go pee pee now? Thank you very much. Yeah. And you're going to drink all that goddamn motherfucking cum straight out of your goddamn motherfucking. Oh my God! You're gonna drink all that cream, all that fucking chocolate together, bitch. Oh my bitch. God! She's you're gonna suck on my fucking nasty balls, and you're gonna suck on my goddamn motherfucking nasty asshole too, bitch. I yeah. love it. She's doing house chores. <laughs> Man, so she's basically the most veteran vet of all. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> she she doesn't even blink while she's doing. She teaches this. the others how to do it. This bro. Yeah. Good for her. Good for wow. her. Wow. I wish I could really. I would love to hear her story. Oh, it's probably great. I'm curious. I wonder what how. It's probably she got not good to be. that we've called her such trash and shit. Ah, she <laughs> looks like a pretty nice lady. I think it's old. I don't think no, she's alive old. anymore. I got a hot pussy for you right now. I'm gonna throw up. Can we can we move it along? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, her I toilet's was, oh, dirty. Oh yeah, I do, baby. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. New accent. Oh no, black men don't have any bigger dicks than white men. The only difference is the goddamn motherfucking color, baby. I can promise you that fucking shit. She's reading okay. a book and doing it. That's how good she she's is. She's really so good. proficient. Oh, I'm finger fucking it really hard for you, honey. Okay. This big black she's pussy is going to be fucking You're you. You're right. You put- wow. Holy moly. Wow. Yeah. What a smarty. What a smarty smart pants. She sure um, is. I mean, would you ever do that for a living? Yeah. Yeah. I can would. You give us a taste. What? Of your phone sex style. Oh, what type of collar is it? Okay. Um... Just like a, a shy girl. Okay. So are you gonna I've never done anything before. Well you say bitch. <laughs> you you shy? Yeah, I'm scared of it. What kind of tits you got? What's your tit situation? <laughs> mm, hangy low. Hangy low? Yeah? You like having your tits your tits pinched at all? <laughs> huh? You like Um I'm scared. I don't you ever have your... This is like the first time we did it. This you ever you have your me. tits sliced? Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. And scene. Really good job. Thanks for coming in. Wait, I was just getting Thanks warmed up. Thanks for coming up. in. Great. <laughs> Jose will validate your parking. <laughs> I was getting excited. That was fun. Mm, you slice those tits up? Yeah. That's how you do it. You'd be like, mm, I'm mm. going to slice your tits. <laughs> What if I what if I cut your nipples off and let them bleed all over the desk? I'll punch you in the pussy yeah, right now. Exactly. What if I what if I uh, put two thumbs in your butthole and then pulled them apart? That is kind of how I start. And ripped your anus. That's how I started every lovemaking session. <laughs> with me. Well, with you know my whole life. Yeah. That's really how that was my move. <laughs> two thumbs. Two thumbs in the butt. Yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> and then as soon as I heard, ah, I would come. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking throw up. <laughs> uh, that was fun. That was fun. Mm. Uh, we have some breaking news. Chips in a bowl? Wow, this much major. It's major news. We haven't had chips in a bowl in a long time. Well, you. Um, Thief is really licking his dick. You said. <laughs> Jesus. That this was news, right? It appears that Can you hear Fee flicking yeah. his balls so loud. Yeah. Jeez, he doesn't have balls, he has a dick. It appears that um the legend yes. is yes. back. That's right. Uh, yeah, we just received the news this morning uh that our beloved is, is returned to work. The most talented actor of all time who we thought retired. Actor. Is uh, officially back. Lake my ass. Lake my ass. Yeah. Lake it. I thought he was retired for good. I mean, he made quite he a did. statement, but. But it's like Jay Z when he always says he's retiring and then he makes yeah. another album. It's like they can't stay away. Listen, when you're good at something, yeah, God works through you. You're not doing the work, you know? Yeah. And he felt inspired and he went back to work. Well, he, um, I shouldn't put this on the screen, but yeah, it looks like he's... <laughs> Wait, how can we play the grandma? Um, I guess if, that's that was on YouTube, can maybe. I wonder if I can put the, this... Yeah, dirty. there's no insertion. I don't know <sighs> what's in this video. <laughs> Thank God there was this, no insertion with grandma. This, uh... Good night. This is pretty intense. Okay. Um, I'm trying to see if I can play any of it, but... How about just audio? Okay. I don't need to see it. Does anyone else? <laughs> yeah, no, I think God, so. God, we're really so heavy on the porn today. It's very porny today. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Let's. Uh, maybe we should. Maybe not listen out loud in your cubicle. Yeah. 
Mac yeah. security alert. Whoa. <laughs> Please call Mac technicians immediately. <laughs> what? That was my one. Eight. Eight. What is that? That is a uh, a Mac alert going off that's like, because you're watching porn. Oh. You know oh. That's just probably Do one of those pop-up virus that. ads. Yeah, it's a virus. Blue Band knows all about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let yeah. him tell you what it yeah, is. Here it is. All right. Do-do-do. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Oh, it's the whole scene here? Oh, I didn't want to see the whole scene. So, yeah, Rocco's <laughs> definitely back, though. Okay. Well, I thought, I thought it was just like a little trailer. Oh. I didn't think I was being sent the whole thing. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, well, it's neat that he's back. God damn it. Why is this God happening? damn it. How'd you guys hear the news? We got a, a listener. We got an email from a listener. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rocco Sofredi, yeah. back in action. Yeah, he's back. He's back. Thank God. The world of porn. There's just not enough people doing it, you know. No one's doing it anymore, so <laughs> it's, it's good to have somebody who's committed to the game. Um, Poor guy. It looks like he's just as committed and aggressive as ever. <laughs> Neat. Um, uh, <laughs> what a talent. So, I do like his films. I don't like that he's so rough sometimes. Yeah. He's got a big hog on him. Yep. I, like his, I like his attitude. I like his enthusiasm. Mm-hmm. You know, he married a Hungarian lady. Can't say anything wrong with that. Yeah. yeah, I mean, is that your hall pass guy? My hall pass guy, Rocco's. <laughs> yeah, everyone has a hall pass, right? You're like, ah, oh, that if that landed. No, that. Ryan Gosling. Really? Yeah, that's so. He's fucking... everybody's hall. He's your hall pass. So, <laughs> who's your hall pass? I don't know. Probably Rocco. Stop it. What? Megan What's... Fox before her face got all weird. What happened to her face? She did too much plastic surgery. But she didn't need plastic she surgery. She was perfect before. She did not need that. Yeah, she looked like somebody actually drew her. And, yeah, she's and perfect. Made, yeah, that's she was perfect. so weird. Um, Charlize Theron. No, but I like her. I think she's great. Char- Charlize Theron is great. She speaks Afrikaans. No. Yeah. She's real smart. She's real smart. She's real smart. Uh, so anyways, this is fucked, man. This just <laughs> fucked up my whole computer watching this. Oh, no. Yeah. All right. I'll get out of this. That's why you got to watch it on your phone, right? Oh, okay. Here's a good shot I can show, I think. I think I can show this. All right. Uh, Right there. Can you see that? Yeah. That's during the movie. There's some saliva right there. Oh, gosh. Okay. He's a little old. There's some stuff you might have to blank. All right. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. So. Do you think he's a little old to be doing? A little? Yeah. No, he's way old to be doing this. And is Ron Jeremy retired? He doesn't. No, he still does it. Oh, gross. Yeah. He needed, yeah, he should stop. Yeah, it's... Uh, but then again, he was always kind of regular bodied, if you know what I mean. Who? Ron Jeremy. Yeah. That was his thing. He's like a regular body. Rocco is 52. Wow. Yeah. It says as of 2011, he has starred in 1,300 films. 1,300 films? In 2011. <sighs> Oof, man. Yeah. I just, I wonder... I mean, I've, we've asked this question before. Uh, when we had Jules Ventura in here, how it affects your personal life. Like you fuck for a living and then you come home and doesn't that kind of ruin it yeah. for you and your, you know, it's like comedy. You and I don't watch sitcoms. We don't watch comedies because that's yeah. what you do for a living. Exactly. You'd, I'd rather vomit than watch. I agree. Uh, so who knows? Babe, remember at the uh, um, Take a Joke? What's it called? Can We Take a Joke? Can We Take a Joke premiere? The guy who I was like, oh, that guy... Who asked the question? Yeah. That's him. Oh, so we did a Q&A for Can We Take a Joke premiere, and this guy had a question for me. And guess what? Look for what he us. Founded. Look what he founded. <gasps> He's the founder of Evil Angel. Yeah. yeah. He had a Second Amendment question. Yeah. Oh, that's so interesting, and I'm not a huge fan of Evil <laughs> Angel. Yeah, <you're> <laughs> As a brand, I'm just not interested in like dunking well, our, heads our and buddy... toilets and crap. Oh, he's he's also known oh, as Buttman, it says. Oh, I know Buttman. Yeah, the Buttman. I'm thinking of Fartman. Never yeah. mind. Well, he oh, um, uh, he he also used to, I guess, employ our good buddy Yoshi. That's right. Who's been on here a lot? And Yoshi does not like them anymore, for sure. Oh God, no! Well, Let's here's here's why he's that. so big on that. In eight, in 2008, he was indicted on federal obscenity charges mm. um, by a federal grand jury in D.C. Hmm. And he launched a website then, all about you know that. And then a federal trial began with him as a defendant, but all charges were dismissed. So. He's a very, um, you know, 
proactive he's, in that. He's really at the center of all that kind of exactly debate. Wow. So, so yeah, he was he was at that premiere. Wow, that, I know because right away it's interesting how you know who the the famous porno people are. Yeah, I know. Immediately, you're like, yeah. I know that guy. He's in yeah. porno. Yeah, well, of course you do. Well, he's behind. He's an owner though. Yeah. But that guy, I'd say, he does a lot of press. He does interviews all the time. He's not a performer, you know. A pro- stonk performer. Very stonk performer. Oh yeah, he can get hot anywhere. That's what Yoshi would say. <laughs> That's right. I'd be like, what about him? I try to bait him into saying it again. Right, he's right. like, he can get hot anywhere. That's this big thing. Yeah. That guy can fuck in any condition. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Strong performer. Yeah. That's what they're always looking for. Can you get, it's hot out. That's can it. Can you get hard? But that, it's freezing. How hard can you is get that? hard? I guess, yeah. I mean, difficult, we should say. Like, yeah. that is probably the most difficult thing. Yeah, because you have to block out all the other stuff. The cameras, the lighting, the, the pressure to come. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now come. Like, yeah. that's, that is a talent. That is really a talent. Yeah, it really Holy is. Holy moly. Um, wow. Things got really dirty today. Yeah. yeah. How that happened, Dad? That's your fault. My fault? Yeah. You opened with that. No, I didn't. Old lady. I love that lady. She's a sweet lady. Um, uh, so this kid, have you seen this? I wanted to show you this. This kid. Well, actually, oh, I want to tell the story first about, because about, um, this happens sometimes. What happened when I went to the bar last night? So Before you met that dude? Yeah, before I met that dude. So this guy... Uh, I walk up to the bar and he goes, "Hey, I know you," and I go, oh, "Yeah." And so, and I gotta tell you, I never want to presume that somebody like that definitely knows who I am. Like, right. I don't think like that. Like, this guy probably really does know me, because sometimes people don't know you and they think they know you, right? But still, this dude was adamant that he knew me, right? So he goes, "I definitely recognize you." He's like, "You're Rocco Sofredi." You're Rocco. <laughs> no, it was it was funnier You're than that star. though. He goes. I definitely recognize you. And I go, yeah? <laughs> and he goes, where do I know you from? And I said, I don't know, because I don't want to assume that it's what I think he knows right, me from. Right, and you can't be a douchebag and be like, right. oh, you may have seen my nose, yeah. I'm a famous comedian. No. It's so gay. So it is. And you, it would, it, I would feel... Sorry, it was yeah, very sensitive. Yeah, you shouldn't say that. You're so non-binary. So <laughs> he goes, um, he goes, did you play college football? And I got like such an erection. I, like, <laughs> I wish that's what you knew me from. You know, I was like, God, why can't that be true? So I go. I know he's like world's biggest cock champion. Yeah, I know. And you're like, mm. no. He was college football, and I go, no. And he goes, did I paint your hot rod? <laughs> and I go, that'd be cool. No. And he goes, did I pave your driveway? And I go, <laughs> who is this? Guy? No. It's a gypsy. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, no, sir. And he goes. Uh, do we play in like that poker league together? And I go, nope. It's a very colorful life. And he goes, are you a Marine? <laughs> and I go, no. And he goes, shit, man. I thought I was one of those five. I guess not. <laughs> Jesus. And I go, yeah, I'm pretty amazed. And then I, I still didn't go, well, I'll volunteer what I think. Yeah. He goes, he just stayed there. And he goes, God, I fucking recognize you. <laughs> and I go, no, man, that's... That's I, I don't. He goes, and have you ever been down to like, do you spend a lot of time in Long Beach? And I go, no. And I saw like that he was really trying. And obviously he tried all those, you know, the, his different guesses. Yeah. So then I kind of go like, because sometimes you just go like, all right. And you just walk. I go, I go, all right. Because he, he, he kept looking at me. I go, uh, I don't know. Net, do, you have, do you have Netflix? And he goes, yeah. And I go, well, I have a, a couple uh Stamp specials on Netflix, and he goes, "No, nah, that's not it." <laughs> <laughs> I go, yeah. All right. I go, okay." I, he goes, "It's got to be something else." I go, "I mean, I, I guess it could be something else, but that would be the the biggest exposure I've ever had." Nobody believes you. Yeah. When you tell them where they know you from for yeah. the longest time, I'm like I know you, and I'm like, "It's from Road Rules 1999." That's not it. I'm like, it, it, "Trust me." It is it. Yeah. <laughs> it is that I know. <laughs> we didn't go to high school together. Well, as soon as I said that, and he goes, "That's not." He goes. I go, are you sure? And he goes, I've met you personally. And I go, then probably Marine Corps. <laughs> uh, I, I wish you guys did go. The, um, then, and then did you blow him behind the bush or after? Yeah, I go. Like, after that. Fucking Pier 21. Meet me in 10 minutes. Yeah. I would pound some booze. I got blackout. And then, you know, anyways. There are dudes that do that on the down low. Yeah. On family vacations. They Naughty cr- boys do that. They cruise and they look for other dudes yep. to blow, and then they blow them. Really naughty boys. You really dadded out. We went to the pool. We took our little jeans to the swimming pool. Yeah. I'm going to post the picture on Instagram 
Um, it's so funny. You put sunblock on your face, but you forgot to do under your eyes. So it, it was like caked on white, white, white. And then <laughs> just your eyes and your under eye circles mm-hmm. were like perfectly cut out of it like you look like a raccoon and you're such a dad and that was so white and creamy like you oh, hadn't was... even rubbed it in at all you can't even try <laughs> sunblock sun can burn bad <laughs> i don't want to get a burn oh so cute it's so hot out <laughs> how come you but you didn't think to like rub it in i did long? rub it in yeah that's how far i rubbed it in yeah to that level yeah i didn't care no, i really didn't no, like, I, that's what happens when you have a kid you don't care yeah and then I feel like you should acknowledge me for my fart. Oh, my God. That was so obscene that you did that. I mean, there were so many nice people just enjoying their day. <laughs> <laughs> and Christina walks up, and she just goes like, Argh. and it's like pool. five feet from these people at the, like, they're, they're eating lunch by the pool, and I'm like, yeah. Jesus. And she's like, well, fucking deal with it. Did not say, well, fucking deal with it. She goes, smelt it, no, dealt it, that, like that. And I was like, whoa. No, I blamed it on you. I went, Tom. Yeah. Dad. That was really not cool. That was a good fart. It was really gross. And I was wearing a wet bathing suit, so it had that special kind of snap to it. <laughs> a little pop. You did it twice. <laughs> you did another one. I know. You did it this morning too, right? Did I've been you? farting a lot. The, whenever I eat in restaurants and I eat a lot of meats at restaurants, I fart. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty neat. Yeah. You don't see it all the time, but then sometimes you do. What was that stupid movie you were watching last night? Oh my God. It was so bad. First of all, for the guys that I meet out in the in the parks and in the... <laughs> I just wanted to show this again. Uh, the Senate certainly oh, can bring thing. about a censure resolution. And it's a slap on the wrist. It's a bad boy, Bill Clinton. You're a naughty boy. The American people already know that Bill Clinton is a bad boy, a <laughs> naughty boy. I'm going to speak out uh, for the <laughs> citizens of my state who, in the majority, think that Bill Clinton is probably even a nasty, bad, naughty boy. <laughs> it's, so weird. it's the weirdest It's the weirdest thing ever. And then, of course, yeah. he famously... Was trying to get uh, B. Jizzles in the Minneapolis airport, uh, and he was arrested. Uh, B. Jizzles, there. BJ's blowjobs. Oh, yes. Wow. So he was tapping his foot under the stall. Oh, that's right. He was the foot tap. That's him. Wow. Disgraced senator. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what they say. Those who call out the other ones, who are like, "Oh, and you're he's, doing he's, bad things." They're yeah. always doing it's the like worst those pastors shit. that do it. Oh, that's yeah. the worst. They're the, always like that. Ted Haggard was homophobic, yeah. hating the gays, and then he was doing the same shit. Yeah. Yep. Same shit, different toilet. Same shit, different toilet. Um, I watched 13 hours last night, <laughs> or most of it. I think that's what it's called. So right? it sounded like it's the equivalent yep. of a chick flick for dudes, yeah. where it's all just like. Well, tough talk and macho. It's about a horrific and terrible thing. You know, it's the the attack on the um, uh, on Benghazi, right? The 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 attack that happened in 2012. A bunch of people died. The embassy, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and no, I hate it. Didn't do well. Uh, it was bad. It was. So, it, it was. It was the weird thing was they took this real story, but they laid a blueprint of a just a regular action flick around it. In other yeah. words, you've seen a million action movies that there's no reality to it, except that this time they go, this is about Benghazi, but we're going to make it like a fun bro action movie. Yeah, but it's, it's about cool. a real thing. And they all had um, the Afghanistan beards. Yeah. Like they were out in the, in the they shed. They had the uh, special ops beards. Right, the guys right. Did. And they, you know, well, the guy shows up who's not part of the not inner part circle. Of the, the gang. Who are you? And he's like, yeah. who the fuck are you? I'm Taylor. <laughs> It's the Navy SEAL. He's like, he's a good one. Fuck that guy. And like right, all that stuff. Right. So and then, dumb. yeah. And then uh, it was also throughout the film uh, an on again, off again commercial for Mercedes. Oh, they had boy. five different new Mercedes model cars in Libya <laughs> post post revolution Gaddafi fall and just right, right. a brand new uh, G550. Everybody has the them. Street. Yeah, okay. All these new Mercedes, and it was to the point where you're like, this is a Mercedes commercial. Like, this mm-hmm. is getting uncomfortable. You know, like, they wouldn't even swap out, have some different cars. Um, and they said fuck a lot 
like very superfluous use yes. of fuck like and it was, these fucking windows you can't see fucking shit out of you're like why yeah. did you even need to say fuck and my fifth establishing scene was main character facetiming back to the house oh boy yeah. and his wife is like hey baby and he's like how are the girls <laughs> and the girls are like hi daddy he's like i miss you guys yeah. i really miss you guys yeah. and then you see him in danger and he's like i miss my girls <laughs> and he's making a video to send back to me. Like, this is all what? fucking. And then the wife is pregnant. Yes. That's the other part. My he's, wife's pregnant. Preg- he's like, my wife's pregnant. And the guy's like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm a dad too. And like, it's just so yeah. dumb. So dumb. And you realize, I don't know, once you've seen, you know, movies for 30 years, like I have, I feel like when you see the blueprint, like when you see how yeah. it's done, you're like, this is just the same fucking. Why would anyone feel entertained by this if it's dummies? It's just the formula. It's so Dumb boring. Dumbs. It's the same reason sitcoms over and over. People like just formula. According to this, play. I don't know if it's hundred percent true. It says the movie was made for forty-five million. <sighs> it sounds really low. That's a small budget for a Michael Bay movie. Didn't look. That and it says good. box office was sixty-nine. So that's wow. not. That's not good. That's not good. Twenty million dollars. Oh. <laughs> I just I saw one scene before I went to sleep where there are checking out the embassy security. Yeah. And then guys like, there's fucking breaches in these walls. Yeah. There's not enough. We're sitting fucking ducks right here. Yeah, it's a lot of like yeah. macho dick slaps. Yeah, it's really dumb. It's a really dumb movie. Dick slappers. Um, he, in all his movies, he did Pearl Harbor. That was a same piece kind of dog of thing. shit too. Even FaceTime in that, you know? God damn it, that's he, right. It's like 1945. I love you, Dad. This isn't working so good because I got a bad wife. Yeah. Now, I love you. <laughs> Let me see your jacks. project. Oh, hey, daddy. Yeah, it's all so exact. lame. Speaking of awesome movies, yeah, let's check out yeah the new oh. Seagal. So In my life, exciting. nothing ever happens for the reasons you might think. Come back with me. Hey, what? Come with me. Come back. He's got a gun. Do you see what they do now for him? Is that they oh. they cut. In lieu of showing him moving, yeah, in other words, right, right. that was an action sequence. <laughs> right, right. But it was in, instead of showing him doing the thing, there were like six cuts, so you don't see his enormous body trying to do <laughs> this complicated. They, f- movement. they faked movement. Yes, they fake movement right. with other people moving. One, two, right. three, four, five, six, six cuts. Right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, it's incredible. So yeah, and they're like. He just kicked that guy's ass. I saw it in six different frames. <laughs> Put a gun. That's trouble right there. Trouble always comes in a small black dress. Always. <laughs> <laughs> that vocal fries intense too, man. That's. By the way, he's a million years old, and yeah. the girl's like nineteen. <sighs> yeah. He's a million years. That's older. not the. That's not the girl for you, bruh. That's not the girl for you. Trouble, <laughs> Trouble always comes in a little black. Did you hear that? You, hear, of course. you guys paying attention to that vocal fry? It's, uh, Trouble, uh, Trouble always comes in a black dress. In a black dress. In a black dress. Yeah. Trouble always comes in a small black dress. Always. Long night, huh? Sorry about your boyfriend. Sorry about your boyfriend. Sorry about your boyfriend. His scared. eyes were swollen shut. So were fat. He <laughs> ate so much sausage the night before filming. Sorry Beer. Booze. Boyfriend. That is, that that is just gloating. That's just yeah. bloat. Yeah. You, uh, check. Do we have his yellow sunglasses? All right, here we go. Action. Morning had a lot of money. Of course, uh, Seagal is famous for the entire film being in the trailer. <laughs> um, let's see. Away. Could you get it for me? What are you talking about? Two million dollars. Cash. They're bad people. Technically, it's not stealing. It's kind of stealing. Hmm. I can make this happen. You don't have a plan, do you? Yeah, my plan is to go get the money. It's always Man. bad guys, too. He's always fighting the bad guys. Do you see how little he was emoting the, in that statement? The plan to get that money. <laughs> plan is to go get the bad guys. Like that, like there's nothing oh, behind those one. eyes. There's no right. emotion no. <laughs> Dead coming fish. out of it. You have a plan? Yeah. You have a plan, Steven Seagal? Plan eat that hot dog. Yeah, my plan is to go get the money. Go get yeah, the money. Plan is to go get the money. He got a little he Asian might as on well the end of it. Too. Ask the grip to read the lines, <laughs> you know? 
Do you think that was Asian-y? Yeah, plan to get the money. <laughs> or Latin, maybe. Plan to get the money. Like a cholo? Like, no, he, he does like that. He blacks it up a little. He always does that. Yeah, so yeah. He, he put the black on the end of that one. Get the money. But like Southern. And my plan is to go get the money. Oh, no, that's Asian. Sorry. Yeah. That was his kung fu. Get down. Yeah. We're rich. Yeah. Now comes the problem. Here comes. So yeah. they got the money. Let me guess. The gangsters are going to come after them for stealing the money. You took my money. <laughs> my money, one way or another. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm looking for a man and a woman. She looks like a cop. She looks like a stripper. <laughs> she looks like a cop. She looks like a stripper. Yeah, he said she. She's, she's twice. twice. Right. You think they would take that line again? I mean. We got to roll, guys. <laughs> Maybe correct He said that? clearly, she, right? Yeah. She looks she, like a cop. She. Let's see. This makes no sense. For a man and a woman, she looks like a cop. She looks like a stripper. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> Why would you leave that in the trailer? This is a major thousand dollar production. You're not going <laughs> to shoot the lines, right? Just replace the audio afterwards and post. You or can something. post, yeah. yeah. That's a quick. That's part. because Seagal's <laughs> editing this himself on his iPhone. <laughs> I'm looking what? for a man and a woman. She, she. she looks like a cop. She <laughs> looks like a stripper. Oh, my goodness. Unreal. Unreal. I cannot believe that that fly. I'm looking for a man and a woman. <laughs> she looks like a cop. She looks like a stripper. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> this is him shooting someone dead. Dead, dead. Yeah. Do you think when he's in, the, this is clearly in Europe, right? This is shooting in foreign uh, countries. Yeah, foreign yeah, countries. This is yeah. for sure. Oh, well, yeah, this was a. Could be Middle East, actually, too. No, come here, look. Oh, wait, that was supposed to be. Yes, That's France. Bali, right? Yeah. So when he's there, that people think, oh, this is a major production. Yeah. Like, they probably think, oh, this is a huge movie. And then, and then he's like, no, we're making this for like $30,000. <laughs> but, I mean, to his credit he comes out with a movie every five months or something more than that yeah every three months he comes out with a new movie absolutely it's so similar in structure I want the money all right for now please help me this is like kill me isn't this the exact premise of the last trailer we watched? That's what I'm saying. It's all the same but, stuff. I mean, exactly, exactly the same. Right, there's some girl, and but he didn't and do Kung Fu with her yet. He hasn't oh, had right. the scene where he's like, But he fingered Watch that Watch me. Yeah, 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 they fingered. That's why they're attached. I'm sure. I got your back. Got you. back. Oh, Whoa. love scene. Love See, scene. they're hooking up. He's like, oh, I, but will they do Kung Fu together? I've shot scenes like this a thousand times. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I bet. You think it's creepy to sh- shoot a sex scene with him? Uh, he's old as fuck. <laughs> he's not even cute. But he still gets it up, I bet. That widow's peak? No, he takes Viagra. It's all black ink. It's all. <laughs> you think he comes black ink? <laughs> because it's, it's so in his in pores his scalp now? scalp and yeah. stuff? Yeah. You think he'll show? Yeah. You could have walked away with the money. I'm not all about the money. I'm all about the honor. What? You've got balls. No sense. Thank you for noticing that. Wait, if he's about the honor, why would he steal two million in the first place? It makes no sense. There's no... uh, Look, uh, stop trying to break down our fucking (laughs) premise to this. Just roll with it, okay? He got Lionsgate, though. That's pretty good. select theaters. What theaters? And on iTunes. The production value on this one's definitely better. It is better. Much better. It is way better. Trailer's a lot better, too. Somebody stepped up on this one. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Maybe they saw our last podcast about it. What if... uh, (laughs) They're like, oh, shit. Your mom's house is on us. Um... I wonder how many uh, movies he's in pre-production on. What if it's like 37? A movie a week. Well, actually, you know how many came out in 2016? We're in 2016. Yeah. Right? 2016, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Six? Six. Wow. And six that's, movies. That's a movie a month? Killing Salazar, Sniper Special Ops, Code of Honor, we The love Asian Sniper Connection, Special. which we, we love. We love The Asian Connection, yeah. End of a Gun, Contract to Kill is filming. 
and attrition is in pre-production for next year. What, dude? Yeah. Well, he is just, he found some investors and he is cranking them Which out. Which one did we just watch? Uh, End of a Gun. End of a Gun, oh, yeah. Oh, boy. You know what I bet they did? Because I think Lionsgate picked up Tyler Perry's first few movies as uh-huh. well. Yeah. They bought like 10 Tyler Perry movies right, for so like a million doing, each. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and bundling them and that's how he became so right. well known. And then this guy, he doesn't, at I'm this cheap. point, you take your, um, guys like him take it off the top. Right, So what right. happens is a, a studio will go like, Right, we're gonna only going to give you like $2 million to make this movie. Yeah. And he goes, my fee's a million. Right. And then, and he, then they have to make the movie that's for right. a million. Makes yeah. it for $10,000, yeah. yeah. the whole movie. My fee is $1,900,089. <laughs> yeah. But he's right. smart. Okay. He's doing it. He's, yeah. he's maintaining his own career with these he movies. He understands good for him. how, yeah, that there's a, there's a demand. Yeah. And then I, I've always loved his IMDb bio. Steven Seagal is a strikingly and somewhat boyishly handsome... <laughs> <laughs> Often with a ponytail action star. <laughs> <laughs> it's intense, right? He definitely wrote that shit, man. Definitely. Of course he did. Of course. He was like, let me see it. Uh, <laughs> uh, Steven Seagal is the most beautiful. Wait. <laughs> Steven. Striking. Yeah, that's it. I'm striking. <laughs> hey, speaking of... I learned Kung Fu. Kung, uh, the Kung Fu. From an early age. Speaking of... From an early age. Teeth. Uh-oh. People we talked about. Talked about uh, frosting with, uh, and how there's a whole push I'm so against over it. this push. I know, but there's some new information. Now you might be wondering, what is oil pulling? Oil pulling is a very simple thing. It begins with taking a high quality vegetable oil. I prefer coconut oil because it's other healing qualities taking about a tablespoon of it, swishing it around in your mouth. And as you're swishing around this raw fat, the enzymes in the fat literally pull bacteria, pus, and toxins from your body. Mm-hmm. What's your pronoun? <laughs> uh, like, uh, me, uh, I'll be like, hey, hey, uh, <laughs> what's your pronoun? What's, pro- what's her gonna... pronoun? What's its pronoun? Uh, I don't think it's a straight her. Yeah, zim, zim, uh, <laughs> What's your pronoun? Hey, what's your pronoun? Hey. What the fuck is she talking about? I think it makes sense. What is Zim talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta wash your toofies with animal fats. <laughs> so let me show you real quickly how you do it. Oh, okay. please don't. Here's my coconut oil. Coconut oil. Uh, I hate coconut oil. Grab a spoon. I'm gonna vomit already. And put it in your mouth. Fuck Be off. Be sure as you're swishing it around, do not swallow it because you'll begin basically ingesting the toxins that you're pulling. Uh, so toxins. here you go. Put it in your mouth five to 15 minutes. Five to 15 that's minutes? That's a ton. And that's on the low end. I've been seeing some that say 20 minutes. Oh, fuck And you just off. swish it around your mouth? For 20 full minutes, you're just swishing oh, it around. Oh, stop. Or you can just floss. And th- no, three. stupid. <laughs> Can't just floss. <laughs> fucking idiot <laughs> i love all these th- urine therapy coffee enemas swishing coconut oil why yeah. why do we need these alternatives to systems we already have in place that are working pretty damn good um, floss works cold medicine works do you yeah, need there's urine a therapy? there's a knock on on your whole floss though people are saying it's right. uh it's bullshit yeah but what about just getting food particles out of your teeth like after you eat steak and stuff true true um it's gross a lot of people were so she's gross so 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 in love with top dog oh mgs and his last joke call Oof, man let's revisit some of the highlights because yeah. it's so funny yes i've i've spent time just reminiscing over that just alone <laughs> you know just hanging out <laughs> thinking about how epic it was uh. hey buddy it's top dog hey buddy Top dog. Hey, hey buddy. buddy. Stop dog. <laughs> you need to wipe hey down. Buddy. Stop dog. Um, here God, we go. This is such a good call with so him. So Top Dog was on the phone. We called him. We just I know that he loves street jokes, so we started reading him blonde jokes. Oh my god. He lost his mind. <laughs> he lost his mind. He laughed so hard. He said Stuff that was so just him, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it was so genuine to who it was so authentic on that call. Some broad. 
Okay. <laughs> he just loved it. Dumb broad. Dumb so broad. a blonde joke. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love blonde jokes, by the way. Yeah. And he laughed so hard in this. <laughs> so hard. Yeah. I mean, look at all these different laughs. I love it. <laughs> His laugh is the best. I love those jokes. <laughs> oh, my God. I love blonde jokes. <laughs> For the easiest, just simplest yeah. joke. He said, in the, do you remember he said on that call, he goes, sometimes I'll just say a joke like that to myself. Oh, my God. And laugh. And the, I'm like, what? He uh, he really likes telling them, too. He, he kind does. of stretched them out a bit. Like, he adds more detail than you need. Yeah. Because that's how much he enjoys telling them. I think he wants it to last a little bit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, I've never heard it. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> the blind jokes. When like, I went out, the, oh the only time God. I heard him laugh like this was when we went out to, we went out to a uh, a breakfast. I met, I went with him and a ninety year old man, oh my God. ninety years old. Those two were telling each other street jokes, and my dad was <laughs> laughing this hard. And by the way, the ninety year old man was too. I thought I was going to watch him die in front of us. <laughs> I've never seen somebody. He was like, oh, like shaking, and then he was like, "Now you do one." To me, the oh, old man did. No, That's right. the old guy who I was like, I don't have jokes like that. And he was like, what? Yeah. He didn't understand Most it. comedians don't. When you ask them to tell a joke, it's because we don't tell street jokes anymore. Right. That's from like the old time, yeah. like Shecky Green and shit like that. Exactly. Red yeah. buttons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. He thought that was really funny, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Oh, that's really funny. God. God, there are such cornball jokes, too. Yeah. I told her that only Coach is going to London. Yeah, this is punchline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Thumb broad. <laughs> <laughs> that. Thumb <laughs> broad. That's really dates him. I guess you know who he is. Yeah. He That's his favorite that. part of that joke, is that some dumb broad would yeah. actually Yeah, it's so funny. It. That really tickles him that really when does. women are dumb. That yeah. really gets his... <laughs> yeah. gets dumb his broad. Point. Yeah. <laughs> like, like when your mom does something silly, he just loves to report the news back to us. Yeah. Like, you know what your mom did today? Broads are different. Yeah, they're dumb. He says that to me sometimes. Yeah. You know, if you're just talking, I'm like, yeah, you know, my sister did this. He's like, Tommy, broads are different. Yeah. That's like his... Loves that shit. Loves that expression. <sighs> and the blonde says... So did I, but I thought he might change his mind. <laughs> just oh, loves that. How does he laugh think, this hard? I think that's hilarious. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I think that's so funny. And the thing is, he's told these jokes countless times. This is not the first time that your dad's Dude, regaled yes. us with these blonde jokes. He tells me that he's been telling me these for years. Right. And he still laughs this hard. And at, he still screws up usually the setup and the yeah, punchline. Yeah. yeah. Then they got the guy he went to, no, he the other the other guy came in and like it's over. You already fucked it up. And he's like, Hold on. It's really funny. I can't remember how it goes. What episode is the full conversation in Blue Band that people uh, can listen? Three fifty nine. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, the last one. It's not in 358? It's in 359? Actually, no, yeah, you're right, 358. 358. Okay, yeah. so if you guys want to hear the whole conversation, listen to episode 358. He also... You can hear the, the horrible jokes that we're telling him. Didn't uh, understand the concept yeah. of... These are set-up punch <laughs> jokes, so I would say set-up, and you just got to go like, what? It's like the knock-knock Yeah, joke. you just got to say go, who's, who's there. there. That's all you got to do. So I would ask him, I would do the setup. And then he would try to logically figure out the answer. So I asked him like this <sighs> so uh, Polish joke, you know. How do you know if you're in front of a Polish firing squad? You still go, how? Uh, the, 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 the guns are faced at the, uh, at <laughs> dad, the guy. Dad, dad, <laughs> dad. <laughs> dad. Huh? Do you not understand <laughs> how these <laughs> jokes work? You're not supposed to actually try uh, to answer them. <laughs> And he, and he did it multiple times. Like right after that, he does it again. I know, I know. He has to guess the punchline. He can't just enjoy it. But the biggest revelation was 
him thinking that this is my act now. Right. He thought we're you like, were asking We're like for 10 jokes into advice. this. And he's like, you, you, these are good. Like, I don't know if you should do these, but these are good. I'm like, wait, what? Like, you think this is how I do stand up now? But do you think your dad laughs this hard at your act now? Hell no. <laughs> Never laughed this hard at my act. <laughs> this is. You don't do any one liners like this, but this is you have some good stuff here, buddy. Oh my God. What? Would you please? Oh my God. It would kill your career if you were <laughs> Yeah, I, I heard that one before. Yeah. That's a funny one, actually. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a funny one. That's crazy, right? That's crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing so hard. Oh, yeah. These corny jokes. These yeah. Corny blonde jokes. Just straight up joke book Just jokes. Just loves them. Man. Yeah, it's a different time, I guess. They used to love... I mean, that's how people would do... Take my wife, please. Take my wife, please. And you, huge, hear, yeah. you see the people just fucking falling out of their seats. Yeah. They're killing. Crushing with that shit. Unreal, man. Wow. Times have changed, haven't they? They have. I just... I've remembered a Pollock joke I'm gonna... I'm gonna tell her. That's pretty offensive. Well, I'm a Pollock. I can tell those jokes. Okay, you can say it. Tell me. How do you know a Polish girl is on her period? How? She's only wearing one sock. Funny. <laughs> you got any more? Uh, let me think about it. Okay. Mm, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> I know you got some racial ones floating around your head. Of course. I memorized the truly tasteless joke book, but they're just they just feel mean now. They don't even It's a different time. It they don't feel funny. Yeah, you know why? You know? why? Because the, they're in a new era. I've been a man all my life. Oh, I was born a man. Fuck this. I'll always be a man. But I don't understand that binary. You're just a man or woman. What should people say about being non-binary? Why are you complicating things so much? It's really not that complicated. Why don't you just pick a gender? Did you pick a gender? You can't just make up words. Do you think words just grow on trees? All words are made up. So you're gay, right? My sexual orientation has nothing to do with my gender expression. Oh, Thank God. You. Which bathroom do you use? Probably the one that I'm less likely to get harassed in. But you wear suits. And? But you wear dresses. Yes. But you put on makeup. Well spotted. Why did you transition then? Why are you so ignorant? But what does it say on your ID? Oh, Amen. it says none of your business. So why don't you pick a gender? There you go. And why do I agree with all the, the <laughs> shit people are saying? <laughs> Because I watched it and I was like, I, I agree with everything. Yeah, that the impression of the eighty-year-old right third right. world. Uh, that's me. Yeah. What? Why are you complicating stuff? I totally agree. But you're born a man, right? <laughs> that's how I feel. And you wear suits. Here's a news flash. You're a fucking man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We can't, and we got to be real careful with Ellis. We have to call him Baby Self. Yeah, Baby Self. Because <laughs> he can't choose his gender, and we're in. We're, it's child abuse, Tom. I know. If we dress him in blue, I got to be real cognizant of it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Baby self, toddler self. <laughs> Very um, non-gender specific clothing and colors. What is... <laughs> toys. No, no, definitely no gender toys I just, in this house. I just give them plastic balls and sticks <laughs> that are yellow or green. Well, you know... I get him everything. I do. Yeah. I get him stuffed animals. I get him trains. I get him books. I I, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, really? Do I no, even I see gender? And but I don't know. I was at the store. We went to Bye Bye Baby to get a new stroller. Yeah. And I, the girl section is terrifying though, because it's all like easy bake oven, how to cook things, and then yeah. there's like it's a toy mop, so you can start cleaning sooner. <laughs> the girl section was it's really yeah. gender. And the boys, so the though, boys too. It's I'm just sure. guns. And yeah. Cars. CEO game. Yeah. And the girls is like, how to keep a house clean. How to blow the CEO. Right. Yeah, it, was, right. it was really bad. I, the girl yeah. stuff is pretty appalling. Yeah. Yeah. Dumb broads. <laughs> so. Okay. Hey, I, can you press pause? I got to get the groceries. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I don't know. Anyways. Well, um, I'm we're so back. hydrated. Uh, did you get the food? I did. I have groceries delivered so I don't waste my life at the grocery store. And I, I'm so uh, lazy. I get them to leave them out front. Um, and so we pick them up. We got to pick them up. Listen, farts. Yes. Do you know how to fart? 
Do you wanna fart? Can you really fart? Do you wanna fart? <laughs> fart, 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 fart. <laughs> with me. What do you think of this kid? We uh, this was. Did you discover this kid, or, or was he sent in? Um, I think someone sent him in. Okay. Fifo. This kid is kind of interesting. It's not always the sh- the the physically strongest who wins the battle. No. And it's not always the fastest. Right. Mm-hmm. Or the smartest. Right. Uh-oh. Sometimes it's the person mm-hmm. with the most stanima. Stanima. <laughs> yeah. You know? It's the stanima, guys. Yep. Wow, this generation's dying. I think, you think so? Yeah, I think with the... Um, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned this. I was a top spelling bee champion, uh, state of California. Top you've actually 10. you've actually mentioned it a, quite a few times. Top ten, and <laughs> part of the problem is this shorthand uh-huh. texting. I, I'm guilty of it. I don't write out the word "your" anymore. I write "you are," you know, I D K. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> that was an accident, but it's still. Oh, I liked it. Yeah. It was great. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's uh it's because uh, kids don't read as much anymore, I'm yeah. assuming, right? Well, what um what gave you that clue? Stanima. So, <laughs> Stanima. Let's see what but else. But then again, I've mispronounced words that I've seen written for years, you know. So another thing I, Top I Dog does. Up. Yeah. He does it a lot. Remember I what what's the word I fucked up uh on our show pretty recently? Oh, it was uh con, con it was a uh, Yeah, sounded like that. <laughs> Oh, combative! You combative, said. right? Yeah. Like I've been reading that in my head is combative. Yeah, it's combative. Right. Yeah, but then my mother was mispronounced words that, and I heard them wrong for years. Children of uh, foreign, you know, English speakers, foreign accent syndrome. Yeah, we get it. We get it bad because it's your developmental area. Yeah, and you're hearing all these things said incorrectly. Yes. in your case, by both parents. Yeah, both yeah. of them. Yeah. You're a martyr. Yeah. What? A martyr. Let's go to Tzotzos. Tzotzos. Yeah. Pretty great stuff. A lot of good words. Sometimes it's oh, some boy. winning a battle. Yeah. Part of it is to get your rest and get your energy mm-hmm. and your stamina going mm. before, Wait. B- b- before you <laughs> enter the ring. <laughs> The, the ring called real life. You're not going to win in real life if your stamina is so low. He sounds like he almost got it right. Stam, stamina. He's right. close. He's close. Stamina. You're not going to win in real life if your stamina is so low. It's close, stamina. yeah. Stamina. You know, like, it's interesting. Yeah. Stamina. Stamina. <laughs> yeah. Is that we shame people. Like him? <laughs> for being. No. We yeah. shame for all these other dumb things, but yeah. we don't shame people for just being straight stupid right if we started a stupid shaming campaign yeah i think it would vastly people accept improve. that people are in cool with that with accepting, uh, i'm cool with yeah. shaming uh this kid over <laughs> st- stam stanima stanima yeah <laughs> that's how he, he's gonna learn you're that you're not word. gonna win in real life if your stanima so low <laughs> if you shame him enough he'll learn how to say it correctly for the rest of his life it is interesting the shame idea is a great to, tool yeah shame we should is be using it much more I don't know why um, we stop shaming people. It's fat shaming. It's like, like yeah. no, shame is a, is a good. good instrument for yeah. change. I agree. Yeah. You should be shamed. I got to write this down, It's guys. interesting <laughs> how this guy is doing kind of self-help stuff. Interesting. Like Tony Robbins? But look at him, you know? <laughs> it's kind of interesting. He it's, needs the help. Yeah, it looks like he should maybe read more of those books. Yeah. You know? That's why rest is important. Rest? Re- important. So if you feel like taking a nap, you should take a nap. Yeah. Oh, fingerless gloves. And when your you're favorite. sick, oh. you should stay down until you get better. Yeah. See? Life That's, advice. <laughs> yeah. It's always a sign of intelligence is fingerless gloves. It's just a, I think it's just a sign of really hard times. You take a nap. You're in a bad place. <laughs> fingerless you know? gloves. And when you're yeah. sick, you should stay down until you get better. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's good advice. Good. That way, you'll win the bad match. The bad, bad match. match. I don't give a <laughs> shit. I don't give a fucking shit. shit. <laughs> or how about this? Like if you if you stammer through your video, yeah, maybe record it again. Right, make it better. Nope, you don't have time for that. <laughs> this guy doesn't. He's a guru. Stop worrying about losing all these. 
fake girls. Uh -huh. Because you know why? 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 They're a dime a dozen. True. But one real woman, one real woman that's gonna love you and respect you to the end of time is worth having. Yes. Maybe sometimes it's best to wait it out. That was good oh, advice. That's good advice, yeah. That's actually good advice. That now, was good. Now, here's what I want to know. Are you talking to yourself? <laughs> How old is this kid? He's never had a real woman. I know. Stanima. Talking about. So. Him and duct tape should hang out. <laughs> duct tape. <laughs> like, okay, say you and this girl shop at Hot Topic and you find some similar item. You find some a flannel. Some what? Similac? Uh, you know, something interesting to talk about. This girl shop at Hot Topic and you find some similar item. You find a flannel. Uh, you know, something interesting to talk about. Yeah. Are you and I wearing the same shirt? A similar item. A similar item. You got a similar item. Maybe. I don't. Maybe, maybe his parents are foreigners. <laughs> uh, Look, I'm not a pickup artist. Uh -huh. I'm just uh, some wait a nerd minute. who knows. The lighting. Who knows a little bit about game, okay? Oh. I'm a uh, normal guy. I'm just a regular ass dude. You are. Okay? Are you a bad boy? You <laughs> <laughs> Get your bracelets. You know, I always think the about the bracelets. The market I know is Comic Con and 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 you yeah. know Geek Girls. And I'm gonna tell you, Geek Girls have the same uh, run the same way as other girls do. Yeah. Duct tape. Yeah. Duct tape. <laughs> right? Do you hear yeah. it? The friendship. Yeah, that's that is a, a friendship. You gotta get your sure. bad boy bracelets. Yep. 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 Tom, have you been working on your bad boy accessories? Are you a fucking bad boy or not? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Get the bracelets. Right. Stanima. Stan stan stanima. All this shit's stanima. jumping on different screens. Yeah, they should really start shaming people for misspellings and uh, you know And saying things wrong. Grammatically incorrect things and like intelligence things. People should be shamed for their lack of intelligence. You think so? Absolutely. Because that you can kind of control. Only if you're trying. To, I think you should be shamed if you're trying to tell somebody what's up. What's up. Yeah. And then you're the dope Like in the case of it. these videos, he's the preacher, right? He's informing he's us. He's telling you how to yeah, live your he's life. He's telling us to up our stanima. Stan stanima. Yeah. I don't know. I think across the board, we should start a shaming campaign. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a and here's grandma. the most important thing ever. Okay. Respect yourself. Yeah. Don't let someone take advantage of you or mm -hmm. make you spend all their money on them and just act like a little bitch boy. I think he's done that yeah, a few times. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this uh, now you realize that these videos are for himself. Well, yeah, of They're course. Self -improvement. Well, of course, of course, yeah. yeah. Poor guy. I understand. He now spends his money. Just remember to follow your own advice. You're not going to win in real life if your stamina is so low. <laughs> True. Oh. Get out there. You have the stamina to do it. <laughs> Stan stamina. 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 Oh, my nose. Um, a lot of people really impressed that. Your mom's house was featured on 60 Minutes, and it's not every day that a show of that caliber features a podcast, um, but with us, it happened, and we were very proud of it. Um, if you didn't catch the little segment they did, um, it was on the anniversary of the Cincinnati Fart, and it really was pretty substantial. I was surprised that... Morley Safer covered the piece. Yeah. I didn't think they'd send him. Is it because he's dead? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah. Well, he came back from the dead to do to this. To do piece. the piece. I know. Yeah. No, he, they There's did this There's one thing about Morley. Died. It's that he, he, he really does have the... Stand up. I'm Morley yes. Shaver. I'm his Mor face was melting off of his skull when he, he would talk died the moment after he retired. Yeah. Yeah. And I met him at the door. Yeah. And then it happened. It shook the room. I've never been around anything like that before. It's a little loud. And I got a dad that really farts. Good afternoon. Thank you for discovering the Renaissance Cincinnati downtown. How may I direct your call? Hi, yeah. Um, do you get to... Can someone book a room to commemorate the Cincinnati fart that happened last year? I'm sorry. Book a room to commemorate what? I'm sorry, could you repeat that? The Cincinnati Fart? Anonymous caller. At our hotel? 
There's something called the Cincinnati fart. Yeah, right. It sounds like you're familiar with it. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I went on this river cruise, and they had a really big buffet. And I was six months pregnant, so, like, I ate way more than I normally would. Lasagna, chicken, pork, broccoli, garlic mashed potatoes, two helpings of bread. I had four desserts that day. And then I took a nap right after yeah, I mean, after dinner, I, I went back to the room and, you know, she greeted me and I was just expecting to have a normal night, but it was anything but normal. What did it sound like? Uh-huh. And by the way, the catering wasn't that good. And that's why I farted so big. The food was garbage. It was like a garbage buffet and I ate every piece of garbage on the table. True. I mean, me, look at me. I, I've really had some great farts in my life, but nothing like the Cincinnati fart. It was legendary. Yeah. The longest fart I ever had in my entire life. And it was amazing. I mean, the, the carpets changed color in that room. The paint started to peel. It was really, really disgusting. Oh my God, you guys are so disgusting. The Cincinnati fart was a legit... 25 second plus fart. I think the room still smells. I'd be surprised if it didn't. Yeah, that room does have this smell. <laughs> but they do make me do my dreams, but it still comes back, so I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> it was like garbage on top of vomit, on top of shit. This is the worst thing I've ever smelled. People ask me, Christina, how can I fart like you? Eat bad food. It's just that simple. I'm not your fart guru but I can tell you what you can do to help yourself. You can eat bad. Today, let us not only remember our fallen soldiers, but let us also remember the Cincinnati fart. What was so special about that room? The Cincinnati fart. Could you spell that for me? Yeah, F-A-R-T. Like, passing gas. Um, can I put you on a brief hold? Sure, yeah, the Cincinnati fart. Thank you, yes. <laughs> oh, good go. work. Good wow. work, Blue Band. Blue Band. Blue Band did that. Working with 60 Minutes. Yeah, was that fun to work with that whole crew and Morley's dead body? Oh, yeah, to see how pros do it. It was real, it's real cool to learn. Yeah, wow. Really neat. <laughs> I'm proud of us. I'm Morley Shaver. I'm Morley Shaver. And there's a smell when you enter the city of Cincinnati that cannot be explained. Uh, but we may have found the answer. Big droopy dog eyes. Droopy dog. No woman like that's on television. No. They never let a broad on TV looking that shitty. Yeah, Only broad. dudes. Um, all right, we got we to gotta run, Jeans. Okay. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Uh, here is the closing song. It's Now I'm in Your Ass, Yeah. <laughs> the Street Justice remix. Is that oh, it? yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the closing song? Yeah, I think you'll like it. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, okay. All right. All right. All right. We love you. I love you. Lol. I want to marry you. At mom's house. Bye. <laughs> Bye, James. Bye, Ja. Oh, my God. Seriously. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now I'm in your ass, yeah. I'm bugging you. Oh,